Dr. Joseph Tkach has faithfully served Grace Communion International for 25 years. During his term as our president, there have been several pivotal accomplishments. Over the course of this month, we're going to air past presentations by Dr. Tkach that pay tribute to his fine leadership and the legacy that he leaves behind. In today's Speaking of Life, you will get to hear about the Trinity. Not only is this Dr. Tkach's favorite topic, it is the supreme doctrine from which all other Christian teachings find meaning. I am Greg Williams, and I invite you to enjoy this segment of Speaking of Life. At one point during my studies at Azusa Pacific University, I took a class in which we were asked to describe the Trinity. And I'll tell you, that was a hard assignment. The Trinity is one of those doctrines that we're all familiar with, but when it comes to talking about it, well, that can be a little more difficult. There's not really a great model in our world to do it justice. But after doing a lot of thinking, this is what I came up with. We're all familiar with the basic piano chord, right? It consists of three distinct keys, which are played at the same time to form a unified note. And while most models that try to explain the Trinity fall short, I think this is a nice starting point. We have the Father, we have the Son, and we have the Spirit. And they work together in unity. The three notes are so entwined in each other that they give us one beautiful and harmonious sound. Now, sometimes it can be hard to spot the Trinity in the Bible. You know, the word Trinity isn't actually in the Bible. But that doesn't mean that the Father, Son, and Spirit aren't in the text. Sometimes what I like to do is sit down and read through a few passages of Scripture, and every time I read the word Father, Son, or Spirit, I like to hit one of the keys. Let me show you. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God. The gospel he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures regarding his Son and who, through the Spirit of Holiness, was appointed the Son of God in power by His resurrection from the dead. Did you hear it? Father, Son, and Spirit. They're all right there. Let me do another passage from the Gospel of Matthew. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father God has sent His Son to bring us back into communion with Him. And that sanctifying work is continued by and through the power of the Holy Spirit. So the next time you're reading through your Bible, keep your eyes and maybe more importantly, your ears open. Listen for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, knowing that all of them are working together now and forever to bring you into the deeper knowledge of God. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life. Thank you.